With your look around the Air Force, I'm Staff Sergeant Benjamin Cooper. Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, Joanne Bass, hosted the 2022 Senior Enlisted Leader International Summit earlier this month in Arlington, Virginia. The event brought together senior enlisted leaders from the Department of Defense, NATO, and 60 allied and partner nations. It focused on building and maintaining relationships, securing common interests, and promoting shared values to strengthen global military partnerships. This year's theme was Winning the High-End Fight. Air Force Chief of Staff General C.Q. Brown Jr. and Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall spoke on the importance of teamwork and protecting and sustaining fundamental human rights. Chief Bass says the summit represents a promise for working together to ensure future generations will have long-lasting peace and stability. The MQ-9 Reaper, a remotely piloted aircraft system, made its debut at the Rim of the Pacific 2022 exercise. 25,000 personnel from 26 nations participated in weeks of non-stop training scenarios on land, sea, and in the air. The Reaper detachment was comprised of 176 active duty, Air National Guard, and reserve airmen from squadrons across the U.S. They supported 63 missions, including 25 maritime operations and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions. F-22 Raptors from Alaska are currently flying from Lask Air Base Poland to safeguard Alliance territory and defend NATO's eastern flank on a moment's notice. The Raptor has contributed to the U.S.'s peacekeeping efforts around the world by deterring potential adversaries and enhancing lethality against all advanced air threats. Raptor deployments provide NATO a more permanent deterrence option through air shielding and ensures the stability of NATO's airspace. The F-22 will also support agile combat employment operations and exercises throughout the region to validate new ways to deploy and maneuver assets during a crisis. And that's your look around the Air Force.